Welcome back to Let's Cook! I had a random thought to try and make Bullio Base inspired ramen, so here we are. In this pot, I have six cups of water, to which I'm going to add a square of kombu and allow to soak for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. After the soak, bring it up to a simmer, which usually takes nine minutes on my stovetop, and then remove the kombu. Now for our Bullio Base base. I have a 14 and a half can of pureed tomato, day fourth of a cup of parsley, a cup of fennel bits and bops, a three inch piece of orange peel, pith removed, a teaspoon of salt, a uh, of black pepper, and a fourth of a teaspoon of both cayenne and turmeric. Also, don't forget a single bay leaf and two cloves of garlic, like I did. I had it all mise in pots, and I still forgot. Once at a boil, I'm going to add one cup of bonito flake, and cook at kind of low boil simmer for 20 minutes, stirring. If you had any fishy parts or shrimp shells lying around, now would be the best time to add those as well. Now let's get those chunks out of there by straining the broth. Knock knock. Who is there? Strain. Strain who? Strain the broth, I'm straining! Taste the broth for seasoning. And I can confirm, it is a good. So we're going to add it back to the pot and bring it back to a boil in which we're going to cook some assorted seafood. From my freezer, I have like two fillets of tilapias, which I have turned into one inch chunks, and some shrimps. If we have mussels or clams, I would definitely add those too, and cook them until they're done, about five minutes. Fish out the fish and shellfish and set aside. Then boil some ramen noodles following the manufacturer's standard operating procedures. I like these dried, not fried noodles. To serve up, I added way too many noodles to the bowl, and then I gave them way too little broth. Okay, let's give that a little more broth. And I'm going to top with some bouillabaisse and or ramani accoutrement. A rectangle of nori. Some sautéed fennel bulb. The reserved fish. Wow, those shrimp shrank really bad. And for some green. The kind of traditional ramen scallions and the kind of traditional bouillabaisse parsley. And now it's time for the hardest part of my day. Let's see. The taste of the broth. A taste of the noodles. The noodles. Noodles! Darn it, Mr. Noodle! Okay, please don't judge me. I'm gonna use a fork. Nom 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 nom. Hmm. Well, I can confidently say that it's good. After all, it is my bouillabaisse recipe I'm adapting here. But it's not some kind of, like, culinary revolution. Just kind of a fun experiment. If I saw it on a menu at a restaurant, I would say, Oh, that's neat. And then probably order something else. I think the bouillabaisse loses a bit by not being a chunky stew. But flavor-wise, it's all there, and it's all tasty. And if I were to make it again, I would do a lot more fennel chunks when serving, and a lot more seafood, like the aforementioned mollusks. And maybe a firmer fleshed fish as well to contrast the kind of flaky tilapia. But all this does raise the question, what should I mash up next? If you have an idea, write it down in the comments. If you don't, also write a comment. Just please write a comment. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.